Hey YouTube, uh, TechMac9 here again today. Today I'm actually going to be showing you how to uh, install custom ROMs onto your um, Android phone. Um, for the most part, um, it's the same, but um, for this um, video, I'm actually going to be showing you on my Samsung Galaxy S2 T9 T8 T-Mobile phone. Majority of this process is exactly the same, but some parts where I will point out will be different because this is a on my Galaxy S2 phone, um, and I do apologize for not posting anything yesterday. I was busy, you know, I got things to do. Um, sorry about that. So I will try to post every uh, one video a day to help you out, you know, tips, guides, tweaks, whatever, you know. So um, actually, let's get started. Um, so first thing is actually um, you're gonna have to be dealing with your computer. All right. So here, um, you would probably have like, what's it called? Um, a custom RAM. Um, the one place that I would only uh, download from where I trust would be like from would be from what's it called um, XDA developers uh, website because um, they have um, reliable uh, forum people and all that um, it's the best website it's more popular um, it's like the place where you, if you have an Android that's where you want to be you can get anything there right except the legal apps which I don't support to be personal but whatever that's my opinion but anyway, all right. Um, so you're gonna go to that website. I'll have that link in the webs uh, in the description, in the description. So um, after that, you're gonna have like a zip file. Make sure it's compatible with your phone, all right? So you go to the website, uh, search your phone, then find the custom RAMs um forum. It's called development something like that. So after that, um, you wanna plug in your phone. So let's plug it in. And uh, before we start any of this, you want to make sure that you have a uh, Clockwork, Clockwork, Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. If you do not have that installed, then I would recommend you that you install. If you don't know how to install it, I have a video on that. Um, so just, just I'll have that in the description too. I'll put that in the description too. But anyway, um, today, um, custom mod that I'm going to be installing is um Mega Mix. You can see right there. I know you can't read it, but it's alright. So, um, first thing you're gonna do is slide it down, slide down the status bar, USB connected, and turn on USB storage. And if you're wondering, um, my current ROM is actually um Mega Mix, so I'm just gonna be installing the same custom ROM, so you won't see any difference. Just to let you know. All right, when it turns orange, just set it aside. Right, I'll be here. All right, you wanna go to open folders. Alright, uh, let's just close this out because I want to show you before. See how you can see uh, one is 11.2 and another one is 7.38. My 7.38 is obviously me, I, my SD card. If it's 11.2 or something like that, you should know how much memory your phone has, internal memory. Um, so yeah, um, so you want to put on your S micro SD card. Alright, so I'm just going to put it in there. I probably have another file in there, yeah. Copy, we keep all the files, alright. All right, so after that is done, you're going to actually be after it's done uh, transferring or whatever, you just want to unplug it. All right, just want to unplug it, and you're going to be here. Now this is the part where it's going to be different. Um, you have to get into um, Clockwork Mod Recovery mode um, for Samsung Galaxy S2 years. You're going to be holding down all the three buttons, and then let go of power when you feel vibration, but keep holding onto these volume up and down buttons. For a different phone, I do not know how because it is you're obviously using a different phone, but you can obviously search it online or whatever. Or if you know, it's alright. So I'm actually going to be doing this. Holding down all three. Fault of vibration, let go of the power. And again, it's only for Samsung Galaxy S2 T9 T8 users. And Skyrocket too. Yeah. Alright, now get this screen. Um, this screen should be the same. It might be a different color, but that's alright. You should have this icon right here. That means you have Clockwork, Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. Alright, so you're going to be here. You want to go all the way down to install zip from SD card. And you want to choose zip from SD card. And then you want to go choose your, like, mine is ice cream uh, sandwich, or... Ice cream sandwich mega mix of 1.22. That's my um one that I want to install. And you just type on that. Call it down to yes. And this will only take about 
five to ten minutes, depending on uh, what size your custom ROM is. But it's usually only five minutes from most um, custom ROMs for any phone. <laughs> Excuse me. So um, that's it. Um, I will show you when this is done. So I'll be right back when this is done. All right, I'm back. Um, and you can see right here it says install from SD card complete. That means you're good to go. And now we're gonna actually be just going. So you're gonna go up, up to go back. Then you're gonna go to reboot system now. So the very top one. Now we'll reboot. And um, while it's rebooting, I just want to let you know um, if you do encounter any problems, like um, let's say it's all glitchy or there's an error or something like that, um, anything like that, like any problem at all. Um, before commenting, I want to let you know that you should use Dark Side Super Wipe. Um, that will get um, most 99% of the problems gone. Guarantee have, you know um, that Dark Side Super Wipe usually gets rid of 99% of the problems. So um, that's a very good thing. So um, I would um, recommend you doing that. So and um, if that doesn't work, then you're um, more than welcome to um, comment in the description, and I will respond with you in probably within an hour, if not an hour, within 24 hours, guaranteed. I'm always checking my email and comments and all that stuff. You know, it's gonna help people. So anyway, um, we're here, and like I told you before, um, it looks the same because um, I I originally had um ice cream sandwich on uh, Mega Mix, which I really like. And um, if you want to, um, what's it called, spice it up or whatever, um, I would uh, recommend you installing Apex, um, what's called Apex um, Launcher. So I guess I can show you that if Wi-Fi connects fast enough. Let's go. What do you mean it's not in range? It's right there. All right. Let's go Apex Launcher. I'll just show you that. It's a free anyway, so you can just try it out. Alright, and this is Apex Launcher. You can see, um, it's actually pretty um smooth and all that. Very sleek, fast. Um, I like this actually better than the uh, uh, ice cream sandwich launcher, I guess you could say, or whatever. Um, I just like it better, but I prefer just using the original one because I'm always like changing my what's called my ROMs and all that. So, yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, anything else I have to say? Now, just if you encounter any problems, just it'll be these dark side super wipe. I'll have that video in the description if you don't know how to use it or if you don't know the download link. Um, and I'll have the other two things in the description too. Um, that's about it, guys. Um, don't forget to rate, comment, or subscribe. Um, thank you guys. I really appreciate that you watching my time to watch my videos. Hopefully, I'm helping you out. And um, keep watching, guys. Thanks.